You got this. Okay. Thirteen present. And two excused. Alderman Matichek, will you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Please? States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Approval of minutes, Alderman Hammond. Thank you. I move to approve the minutes of the last council meeting. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes of the last council meeting. Is there any changes or additions? Any changes or additions? Seeing none, the clerk will call the roll. Thirteen ayes. Motion carried. Public forum tonight, City Clerk. Yes, we have one this evening. Mary Schuler. Mary, if I can have your home address, please. My home address. My home address is 1089 Creeks Cross Road, Unit 1A, Kohler, Wisconsin. The, the street again? Pardon? The street again, 10, 10, 8. 1089 Creeks Cross. Okay. All right, and you will have five minutes. Okay, thank you. I'm here tonight as a volunteer of the American Cancer Society and a local health care provider. I um, am a registered nurse, I work in oncology, and I've worked at St. Nicholas Hospital for almost 35 years. And if I mention the word cancer, what comes to mind? As I look around the room, perhaps some of you have been diagnosed with cancer yourself, or you've had a loved one that has been diagnosed with cancer, someone close to you. And that's certainly not uncommon, because one out of every two men will be diagnosed with cancer during their lifetime, and one out of every three women. The American Cancer Society is um, par uh, partnering with local health care providers, St. Nicholas Hospital and Aurora Healthcare, to bring a cancer prevention study to our city. And so this is the one and only opportunity that citizens of the city of Sheboygan are going to have to participate in this historic study. And the goal of it is certainly to understand cancer better and prevent it in the future. We've made great strides. Um, cancer survival rates now are greater, five-year survival rates are greater than 68%. There are some cancers that have 90% survival rates, but that's not good enough. We, we certainly want to do better. And so they are recruiting, they, the American Cancer Society, throughout the entire nation, individuals, men and women, any ethnic or racial background, um, individuals that are between the ages of 30 and 65 to participate in this long-term study. And by long-term, I mean 20 to 30 years. And you might think, well, why do we need to do it that long? Well, in order for it to be scientifically valid, we have to follow people for an extended period of time. I put a flyer in each of your um, trays that describes the study. It tells who can join it, as I said, between 30 and 65. They can never have been diagnosed with cancer with the exception of basal or squamous cell skin cancer. Um, as many of you know, that's a very common cancer, and so you can participate in the study. If you want to participate now, during the month of April, you can go online to make an appointment. Um, if people don't have a computer, there certainly is a toll-free number for the American Cancer Society that they can call to enroll in the study. And then they will complete a comprehensive baseline survey asking you all kinds of things about you know, where you grew up, how much sun exposure you had, about your exercise, about your family history, about medications you've taken. And then you will make an appointment to come in to have a screening done. And as I said, our two sites are the Aurora Sheboygan Clinic and St. Nicholas Hospital on May 15th and 17th. The information is on the reverse side of this piece of paper. The, at the time of that appointment, you will have a small blood sample taken, a waist circumference measured, and complete just a very few questions. It'll take about 20 minutes. After that, every two to three years, you will receive by mail 
a survey to complete. And as I said, that'll be for a minimum of 20 years. So I'm hoping that you will talk it up because our local health care providers really, you know, went through um, great strides to make to bring this study to Sheboygan and we might be able to prevent cancer in a future generation. Questions you have about the study? If anybody wants additional flyers, posters, brochures, um, things to post on social media, to share with your family and friends, um, let me know and I can mail them to you or email them to you. If there's no further questions, thank you. And we hope that you'll talk it up and consider participating yourself if you're eligible. Thanks. Thank you, Mary. That's it. No others. We'll move to the hearing. 2-1, hearing establishing the use district classification annexing lands located at West Taylor Drive and North Indiana Avenue to a class PDUD pre-plan unit development classification. Anybody wishing to be heard? Anybody wishing to be heard? Anybody wishing to be heard? Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to close the hearing. Okay. It's been moved and seconded to close the hearing. <laughs> we will call the roll. Thirteen ayes. Motion carries. Consent agenda, Alderman Hammond. Thank you again. I move to accept and file all ROs, accept and adopt all, RO, all RCs, pass all resolutions, ordinances, and substitute ordinances. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept and file our, all ROs, all committee reports, pass all resolutions, ordinances, and substitute ordinances. That will be 3 1 through 3 17. Is there any questions on the consent agenda? Seeing none, clerk will call the roll. Thirteen ayes. Motion carries. Four one through four eight will be referred. Four nine, uh, five, four nine, five nine, five one resolution by Alderman. Hammond supplementing resolution number 100 05 awarding the sale of $3 million of water utility revenue bonds. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move the pet to the resolution upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded to have the resolution put upon its passage. Under discussion, Alderman Bourne. Thank you, uh, Mayor. I was wondering if we could get a report on that sale, uh, what the interest rate was, and who the uh, successful bidder was. Alderman Hammond. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman. Thank Board. you. Um, the successful bidder was Morgan Stanley um, at an uh, interest rate of 2.925507. Um, there were three uh, or two others, Hutchinson Shockley and Robert W. Baird. Both of them were just, uh, just north of three. Thank you. 2.957, what did you say? 2.925507. Oh. Give or take. Go or take. <laughs> Is there any other discussion or questions? Clerk will call the roll on passage of the resolution. 13 ayes. Motion carried. Five. Before you go any further, the chief needs to speak on something. He's in the consent agenda. Can you call on him? Chief, Chief. Chief would like to speak on something on the, was on consent, the consent agenda. Leave. Sorry, we didn't see you waving in the back there, Chief. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, the first item that you approved on the consent agenda is a donation from the Sheboygan Sudzers. I have with me today Tyler Everson, the president, and Greg Emerson, the chairman of their Oktoberfest. And they're here to present uh, the police department with a check for $1,000 to support the teddy bear program. For those of you who aren't familiar with that, the objective of the teddy bear program is to comfort at-risk children in crisis situations in hope of calming their fears and gaining their trust. Officers who come in contact with a child in crisis are able to provide them with a teddy bear or other stuffed animal and attempt to soothe and comfort their fears and anxiety. Um, 
The Sheboygan Sudzers have an annual Oktoberfest. This 2013 will be our 20th. Every year we have donated to several good causes across Sheboygan, and this year this is one of the causes we've selected. We also uh, donated another $1,000 to Make-A-Wish Foundation as well. So it's my, on behalf of the Sheboygan Sudzers, I'm proud to present the chief with this check for $1,000 from the Sheboygan Sudzers. <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you, gentlemen. I've lost my place. 5 2. Resolution by Alderman Heideman, Born, Wangaman, and Bellinger authorizing Director of Public Works to sign the Federal Fish and Wildlife Permit application. Alderman Heideman. Uh, thank you, Mayor. I move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. It's been moved, seconded, that the resolution be put upon its passage. Under discussion, under discussion, uh, what this resolution is dealing with is uh, now that they've uh, taken all the sediment out of the, the river and we're redoing the banks, we've been able to control the, the, the geese so that they don't ruin the new foliage and everything that they put in there. So, is there any other discuss discussion or any questions? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Thirteen eyes. Motion carries. 5-3 through 5-7 will be referred. 6-1, report of committees. Report from law and licensing recommending denying beverage operator license number 7048. Alderman Vanderwille. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the committee report be accepted and adopted. Under discussion, Alderman Vanderwille. Is Michael Studeman here this evening? He is not. We had invited him to our uh, meetings twice and he did not appear, so we denied his license. Is there any discussion? Other discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. 13 ayes. Motion carried. 6 2, report of committee from law and licensing recommending denying taxi driver license number 9884. Alderman Vanderwille. Thank you. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the RC be accepted and adopted. Under discussion, Alderman Vanderwille. Is Marilyn Razo Valley here this evening? She's not here. Um, after a negative recommendation from the police department, we did deny her five to zero. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, the clerk will call the roll. 13 ayes. Motion carried. 6-3, report of by law and licensing recommending denying beverage license op operator license number 7341. Alderman Vanderwille. Thank you. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the RC be accepted and adopted. Under discussion, Alderman Vanderwille. Is Juana Vila here this evening? She is not. Um, again, we also had a negative uh, recommendation from the police department, and she, we voted 5-0 to zero to deny. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, the clerk will call the roll. 13 ayes. Motion carried. 6-4. Is that the one I just did? 6-4, oh. law and licensing recommending denying beverage license number 9880. Alderman Vanderwood. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the RC be accepted and adopted. Under discussion, Alderman Vanderwille. Is Leon Velez here? He is not. Our committee did vote three to two to deny the license. Any other discussion? Seeing none, clerk will call the roll. 13 ayes. Motion carries. 6-6. Six, six, Report from Public Protection and Safety recommending filing document amending the municipal code to 65, I think. I'm sorry, 65, law and licensing recommending denying beverage license number 8206, Alderman Vanderwille. Thank you. I move that the RC be accepted and adopted. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the RC be accepted and adopted. Is Stacy Mertzig here this evening? Yes. She is here. Um, we had a discussion with her last week. Um, she had a few recent um, 
violations, one including an unlicensed un dog in 2010, possession of drug paraphernalia in 2011, and disorderly conduct in 2011. Um, the police department did have a negative recommendation, and uh, the reason for that was the, they, after speaking with her and her thoughts on um, all three of her convictions, she really didn't quite take responsibility for any of the actions. It was all, you know, someone else's fault. So. All right. Would the applicant like to address the council, please? I have received several fines that, well, not just, I don't know how to really explain it. I have had several fines that I have gotten and I've paid them off and it all comes down to me keeping my job and I have to pay the fines off with the job I have. And I'm currently working there and without this license I can't work. I can't support my three children. I can't make car payments. I can't do any of it. I'm a single mother. All of these fines I have gotten, they are paid off. I had talked to another officer, McMullen, I believe his name is. He was going to try to get a hold of someone with the police department or here to give you guys a good word on my behalf. Um, pretty much is all it comes down to is me working and keeping my job so I can support myself and my family. Any questions of the applicant? Alderman Bourne. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Ma'am, where are you working with this license? At Clark on North 15th. At where? Clark Station. On North 15th? Yes. How long have you been there? A month. A little okay. bit over a month. Thank you. Any other questions of the applicant? Of the applicant? Yes. Alderman Vanderwilly. Um, could you also, there was also an incident on March 7th um, of this year, which happened after she, after she had applied for the license um, for the misuse of 911. Um, could you tell us a little bit about what happened? With okay. That incident? Um, I came home from work at 10 o'clock at night. My husband had been drinking and excessively, and he took my car, so I called 911 to report him drinking and driving. So I was obviously concerned about the situation. And then I had called them back to see if they found him, and they found my vehicle, and they did. And they came back with my keys to the vehicle and gave me a ticket for calling the police too many times. And I was just concerned about my vehicle, him, what was going on at the time. So I received a ticket for calling the police too many times. Any other questions of the applicant? Okay, thank you. Back to the floor. Alderman Vandy, what did, what did you say the two violations were in 2010 and 11? Um, in 2010, it was an unlicensed dog um, that was running away. Um, uh, an unlicensed, what did you say? Dog. 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 Yes. Um, in 2011, there was a possession of drug paraphernalia, and also in 2011 was a disorderly conduct. Um, the incident that occurred on March 7th when, we, when the police department was the representative we had here, he had said uh, there was at least three times of, of call to 911 and you don't get a, you don't just receive a ticket unless you've been warned not to call 911 again. He said it's very unlikely that she was not warned. Um, and in, from the police department, the, the major thing that they got out of our chat with her was that she was not taking responsibility for any of these um, items of violations. Thank you. Any other questions? Any other discussion? Very none, clerk will call the roll. No. <coughs> 10 ayes, three noes. Motion carries to deny the license. 6-6 six, six, public protection and safety recommending filing documents amending the code as certain exempt transactions. And we'll take 6-8 together with that from Public Works recommending municipal code relating to certificates for compliance of clear water, clear water requirements to exempt certain tra transactions. Alderman Heidemann. I move to put the resolution upon its passage. 
Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept the report from Public Works and put the resolution from Public Protection and accept Public Protection and Safety's report and put the resolution in upon its pass. No. I got guys waving in the back yeah. there. <laughs> I'll take six six. Under discussion. I can, I can take six six. Okay. This document was a dual referral to public protection and safety and public works. Public works met on Tuesday, and what I understood is they filed the resolution, and this has passed the ordinance. So I think it's I don't know if the RC that came back to them said file it, but it was they were filing it, and then public protection and safety took action the following day on Wednesday, and they filed the same ordinance and directed the city attorney to draft a, a new, new one. one. So okay, well, they both should be filing it. This is contradicting. One is passing and one is filing it. Oh, I know that. And I did check on that, and they said that that's what they did. But that's I agree, not what, it's not what happened. That's, that's, that's not, not what, what we voted on. Okay. Um, and so, I don't believe Public Works voted on passing it either, no. is what I understood. So basically, both committees want to so file both it. both committees want to file? File the RC. Who's filing? Correct. Yep. So Second. both committees are going to will be moved and seconded to file both RCs. both these and have the city attorney draft a new ordinance. Yep. Correct? We're all on the same page now. Clerk will call the roll. Jim. Oh, so oh, that's okay. <laughs> Quick fingers. Thirteen eyes. Motion carried. 6-7 and finance, uh, RC from finance recommending authorizing transfer appropriations in the 2013 budget. Alderman Hammond. Thank you. I uh, move to accept and adopt the RC and pass the resolution. Second. Been moved and seconded to accept and file the RC and uh, accept and adopt the resolution. Under discussion, Alderman Bourne. No, that was the last one. Thank you. Alderman Hammond. Thank you. I, I would just like to say on behalf of the Common Council, we'd appreciate the uh, generous donation from the Sheboygan Sudsers. Um, it's, it's very nice to know that they're thinking of the kids in their time of need. So again, just a, a quick shout out. Thank you to the Sheboygan Sudsers. Thank you. Any other discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. 13 ayes. Motion carried. 6-9 and 6-10 will both be referred. <clears throat> Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor. When I was looking at my agenda, I noticed that uh, on the agenda, it said that this is to be referred to the Capital Improvements Commission, and on the document, it says refer it to the Capital Improvements Commission of the new council. It is the new council. It is the new council. All right, thank you. Any other discussion? Both those documents will be referred. 7-1, an ordinance uh, by Alderman Raisler will lie over. 7-2 through 7-8 will be referred. 8-1, other matters? 8-1, is matters laid over. What's that? Matters laid over, 8.1. Matters laid over, I'm yep. sorry. 8-1, resolution number 297, 1213 from the City Plan Commission amending his zoning map to establish a use district for recently annexed property. Alderman Koth. Thank you, Mayor. I move that the RU be accepted and placed on file and passed the ordinance. It's been moved and seconded that the RO be accepted and filed in and that the ordinance be put upon its passage. Under discussion. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Second. All those in favor, will push your button. Yeah. <laughs> that too. 13 ayes. Motion carried. A2, resolution from Alderman Hammond, Decker, Carlson, Donahue, and Raisler, authorizing contribution from Sheboygan Economic Corporation for business development. Alderman Hammond. Thank you. I move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the resolution be put upon its passage. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Thirteen 
13 ayes. Motion carried. Other matters, city attorney. Nine point one is an RO submitting a communication from Stephanie Seabor of Winston and Strawn LLP informing the city that effective December 5, 2012, Veolia ES Solid Waste Midwest LLC changed the same to Advanced Disposal Services Solid Waste Midwest LLC. That will be sent to public works. Um, 9.2 is an RO by the interim library director regarding <coughs> annual report for submission to the Division of Libraries and Technology of the Department of Public Instruction. That will be sent to finance. 9.3 is a communication from Alderperson Matichek providing information with regard to a four-day work week. That will be sent to Sauer and Grievance. 9.4 is a communication from Alex Kaufman requesting a waiver from the sex offender residency restrictions in order to live at 1921 North 11th Street. That will be sent to public protection and safety. 9.5 is a communication from Don Diener stating his concerns the intersection of North 9th Street and Center Avenue, stating that people do not stop at the northbound and southbound stop signs and requesting the installation of traffic signals. That will be sent to public protection and safety. 9.6 is a communication from Kenneth Hemingway, president of the Lutheran Church of Our Redeemer, stating his concerns about the condition of Wilgus Avenue in the 3,000 block due to the large potholes. Be sent to Public Works. 9.7 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2013 and June 30, 2014. And that will be sent to Law and Licensing. 9.8 is an RO by the purchasing agent submitting a tabulation of the bids for the 2013 sidewalk replacement program as received in response to bid number 2358-13. Public Works. 9.9 .9 is an RO by the purchasing agent submitting a cost breakdown for the purchase of equipment necessary to significantly improve live or real-time broadcasting of public informational programming by WSCS-TV. Finance. 9.10 is a resolution authorizing the purchasing agent to enter into a contract for the purchase of components required to significantly improve upon the ability of WSCS to broadcast community programming in real time. Finance. 9.11 is a resolution to authorize the transfer of appropriations in the 2013 budget. Finance. 9.12. Finance is going to be busy. Is a resolution authorizing the construction of the federally funded non motorized traffic calming projects at various locations throughout the city. That will go to Public Works. 9.13 is a resolution authorizing the Department of Public Works to temporarily make the intersection of North 10th Street and Erie Avenue a two way stop with traffic stopping on North 10th Street for approximately six weeks, after which time the DPW will recommend either making this intersection a permanent two way stop or have the intersection remain signalized. Public protection and safety. 9.14 is a resolution to authorize the transfer of appropriations in the 2013 budget. Finance. 9.15 is a resolution authorizing entering into contract for the 2013 concrete sidewalk program bud, uh, bid number 2358 13. That will go to Public Works. 9.16 is a resolution authorizing the City of Sheboygan to enter into a contract for dock repairs at the Harbor Center Marina. Public Works. And that is it. Alderman Hammond. Thank you. I move to convene in closed session under the exemption provided in section 19.851E, Wisconsin statutes for the purpose of deliberating the possible sale and pub of public property where competitive and bargaining reasons require a closed session. Second. Move and seconded to move into closed session. Any discussion? Clerk will call the roll. Thirteen ayes. We will reconvene in closed session in three minutes and 43 seconds.